Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and okay. In this video tutorial, I'll try to demonstrate how to use the log options so that you can debug quickly in Android Studio. And if you know how to uh, debug, then it will help you to find out the problems. It will help you to get the values out of anything and you can check it uh, within the log window or run window. Let's try to practice uh, debugging. Okay, how to debug easily by using the log uh, option. Uh, let's start Android Studio right now. Uh, here you can see starting Android Studio and we are using the brand new project uh, we have created it earlier okay and this is we are using Java here and we are not using Kotlin language so let's just start the project give it a little time so that the project can be operational and you can see this is the main activity portion and you can see the Java extension and here is the activity main window okay we have all, all, only one thing is here and it is text view it is the text view and let's go to there and what we want to do we want to log and these are the import files uh, okay so let's try to log you can also learn how to comment okay double slash for single line comment and then forward slash and then hysteric and then hysteric and then forward slash is the multi line comment let's try to log here debug to do this there is an option which is log and you can log it and then if you use the debug then you will see intelligence is going to show you can access its uh, properties by using the dot operator and then you can see it is showing d d for debug okay and see you have these options are available you can use the debug or you can use the dst debug okay both are uh, you can pass parameters two different parameters here the first one is related to tag and which is going to be a string value and the second one is also a string value and the tag is the message or you can use another option there you can pass three different parameters the hard one is a throwable thing okay and first will be the same okay so we are using the first one let's use the first one so clicking on enter okay so this is the method you have to terminate the method by using a semicolon here and then you can use the first one the our project name is source a scholars online school so we are using sos and this is, will be the tag next one is the message so you can start typing message and this is also a string as soon as we are going to write the string it will use the option message so that you can see the first one is tag and here is the tag our the name of the project and the message would be hi there hi there okay let's try to log it save it and if you run the project let's try to use the MED manager first and you want to use the nexus one give it a little time to start okay and it is started okay so if you click on the run option and here you can see the run option here the log is not going to show it here so if you click on the run option and then you can see here is hi there so this is the tag sos okay and this is the message hi there so in this way you can log the values and you can debug the values and let me show one more thing here let's just stop it let's minimize it okay and i want to show another log here here you can see we have a text view okay if you go to the activity name then you can see it is a text view and if you select it then you will see yes you can see if you select it then you see the here is the text if you go to code here is a value okay this is the text value okay this is the value and this is the resource scholars online school this is the resource value i want to get the name i want to get the name uh, using a log so how to do this you can see log.debug and then you can use the tag the tag is sos and whenever you are going to use the message the message should be a string so the first one is a string and we are using the concatenation options by using the class operator and then here is another string and here using the another class operator and then here you can call this you can see here we have already a text view channel name okay so using the channel name right now and then you can get the text okay so get text there is a method named get text to get the text out of it okay because we have set the text name here you can see if you go to the activity main window and you can this is the code window and you can see whenever you are going to hover you can see 
this is the resource name and the resource value is if you hover then you can see the resource value is this scholars online school and you will see the resource value okay this is the scholars online school. i want to see it and i want to debug this name okay i want to debug this value that is what i'm doing right now you see and the tag will be sos and the message will be this i want to get the text and by calling this method get text okay and i want to get this object and accessing it uh, properties and there is a method the get text so okay, i want to see the text value okay instead of viewing it within the nexus 5 app okay i want to see it within the run window and in this way uh, you can debug easily you can find the value first then you can display it if you see the display the value is correct then you can show it later in this way you can easily debug things and you can fix problems so let's run the project uh, you're going to the avd manager and running okay and this one is already running there let's try to run it to going to the run options you can see the text you see high there the first line is high there and the second line is the value so in this way you can find out the value and you can debug easily so i hope that it will help you to fix your problems okay or it will, it will help you to debug efficiently okay this is a quick debugging option okay let's just stop it so i hope that you have understood how to use the log option and how to use that to debug your code okay, and how to check it from the run panel so you are welcome to watch other videos in our channel if you like any video don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next tutorial video until then take good care of yourself bye